Hey guys, if you would like to see how I achieve this protective style, then just keep watching. Okay, okay, so this is the hair that I'm using and it is in the color 1B, super long. And it is also 100% Konekalon. Konekalon. <laughs> okay, so now we are just going to prep the hair and I'm just going to take it and run my wide tooth comb through it. And this process is called stretching the hair. Okay, next guys, I just used my Hicks edge control and I placed it down the center of my part and I'm just brushing it through. Here you see me preparing my fingers to begin the braid. And child, if you do not know how to braid, I'm pretty sure this is not the video for you because we are adding hair in before you learn how to add hair, you wanna learn how to braid first. <laughs> and I am not a professional. My braiding skills are very, very basic, guys. Very basic. <laughs> I mean that. And you'll see this um, as we go along because I did mess up on this braid, but I didn't realize until the end. So yeah, I just kept it going, honey. Now I'm getting ready to prepare to add the hair. And guys, I know a lot of people do the feed-ins, like add the hair as you go. But your girl, I just cannot get that yet. I'm still practicing on it. I just can't do it for some reason. I don't know. But I just, what I should have done was split the hair into three sections and added it into the three sections of my braids. But I did not. I just went ahead and added it into with you know with it being the two sections and then i split it in the braid i don't know if that makes any sense but yeah but baby i got it i got it going i got it going and you're gonna see this little piece can you guys see that little piece sticking up yeah i don't even know i don't know how that happened i guess because i didn't braid as tight as i needed to so that's what happens but i did end up fixing it i just pushed it in with a bobby pin and you couldn't even tell as i'm looking back through the footage now i can see how loose the braid is though so yeah it could have definitely been tighter i mean but give your girl a little credit i'm doing this all by myself all by myself feel sorry for me <laughs> i don't know i guess i had to give y'all different angles so that's what we giving different angles <laughs> okay y'all it would not be right if i did not gel these things down with um a little gel and then of course um i got the look I was going to say the toothpick going, girl. I got the toothbrush going. You feel me? And I don't even know. Girl, just leave, leave them alone. Yeah, yeah, I burning her. Huh? Yeah. yeah my, girl, my contact was going to come out. Okay, so I got the mousse. And I'm just putting it on the braid. Yeah, this is my first time using the mousse. We're going to see what it do. And after, oh, hmm, Madam C.J. Walker. We're going to drop a little of that oil right down the scalp. Come on, baby. Go ahead and drop it. There, there we go. Okay, and we're going to rub that in. That stuff smells so good, y'all. And then we are going to tie it up. And yeah. For about 10, 15 minutes. Check out that slow-mo. 
did I do it in slow-mo? Y'all tell me if I play too much or not at all. I don't know. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes, we are done. Finally. And these are my lashes coming soon. These are called Eva. And I did have... Oh, yeah, guys. I forgot to mention... I'm, oh, yeah, I'm also showing you guys how I fixed it with that bobby pin. But anyway, I forgot to mention that I did the little um, rods on the end and I dipped it in hot water. As always, thank you all so much for watching.